Hello? OK, it works. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. Thank you, uh, thank you all for coming here. And uh, I'm uh, Hui Chen from Sunan Corporation. I'm also a community manager for China OpenStack User Group. Today, my topic is, uh, is uh, DevOps in OpenStack Public Cloud. So what's DevOps? And uh, what does it look like of uh, OpenStack Public Cloud? And um, DevOps is uh, described as uh, in Wikipedia as a software method that, uh, com that, uh, that combine the uh, communication and uh, integrate of uh, software developers and operators. And, uh, but here, today, I'm not going to talk more about the um, uh, software uh, uh, so, uh, the development methodology of DevOps, but instead, uh, I want just to answer some questions. Um, uh, for example, uh, what we have done in the past years for OpenStack and how do we operate a public, uh, OpenStack public cloud? And, um, so uh, what does OpenStack public cloud look like? Uh, here is uh, some examples. HP Cloud is uh, the first and also the biggest uh, uh, OpenStack public cloud uh, totally is analyzed, it was totally based on OpenStack. And the uh, Rackspace Cloud and, uh, and the Internet of AT&T in the uh, United States, Inno Cloud in uh, European and KT from uh, Korea. Uh, However, they never tell you how to operate their public cloud based on OpenStack, and they never, and but Xinan uh, uh, as an internet company in China, we operate the first public cloud in China, and uh, we would like to share with you about how we implement our own public cloud. I hope you, uh, hope I will let, uh, let you down today. Uh, I have several, Topics. The first is um, changes about uh, how, uh, changes in building uh, OpenStack public cloud, including network topology and uh, security enhancement story solution, and uh, identity integration billion and monitoring and dashboard improvement. The second uh, section, uh, the second part is uh, uh, talking about how to operate a production in OpenStack environment. Uh, including platform stack connection, automated development, and uh, CI system. Uh, so there are there are so there are so many topics here. So and uh, oh, uh, also the third part is uh, uh, talk about the second level is uh, community of stack public cloud, which uh, initiated by Sinan of stack team. Sina is uh, 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 the first. Uh, before I go to, uh, uh, before I move forward, I will talk about our cloud requirement. Sina uh, is a uh, nine million company for China and the Chinese community around the world. And Sina uh, was founded in 1998 when the World Wide was just introduced in China. Uh, it now operates several uh, multiple biggest uh, websites in China, have uh, tens of billions page views per day. Uh, now, Sina operates two major buildings. The first is uh, Sina.com, and uh, the second is uh, Sina Weibo. Sina.com is the largest web, uh, information entertainment web portal in China. It provides web videos online service, like news, finance, video, email service, and blog hosting. For Sina.com, it needs a unified infrastructure and app platform to host the heterogeneous apps and platform in one single Platform. So as for Sina Weibo, Sina Weibo is a Twitter-like uh, micro blog service, and uh, more often it's regarded as a hybrid of Facebook and uh, Twitter. Uh, Weibo was launched in 2009. Uh, it, it has uh, experienced its uh, explosive growth in its early days. Now it has 350 million users. It's, Definitely the number one as, as a social platform in China. And the Weibo also has uh, huge influence on China society because it uh, uh, speeds up the information flow or, and uh, protects the freedom of speech. Weibo 
also has an open platform. Uh, it wants to build a social ecosystem through its open API, and it's called environmental. Uh, I'm from the RD Center of Sinan, and our responsibility is to build a reliable, uh, highly scalable, and uh, secure cloud infrastructure to support our own business as well as some external customers, uh, especially for small companies and uh, startups. Uh, Sinan Cloud has uh, three different um, uh, products. The first is Sinan App Engine. Sinan App Engine is the uh, first and the most popular PS platform in China, not, which launched in 2009, uh, support, web uh, support web application written by PHP, Python, and Java, and now has uh, 250,000 developers who have developed 380,000 apps running on SE, which is a big business in China. And uh, the second is uh, Sinan Cloud Market, is the first cloud app market in China. Uh, it's a cloud store based on SE technology which means it can lower the uh, price in the, uh, of, uh, to a very no never. It was designed, Cinema uh, uh, Engine is focused on uh, web developers, while Cinema uh, Cloud mar uh, Market is focused on ordinary users. Cinema uh, Web Service is its first obstacle based public as cloud in China. Uh, the rest of our slides we are talk about this platform. First, uh, I, I want to talk about our involvement in the community. Uh, from the beginning, when we began uh, launched our project, we are uh, deeply involved in the community development. And um, in the first release, we uh, are ranked in the top 10 list uh, by Chainset or by Bugfix. So let's check, uh, talk about challenges to build an uh, open stack public cloud. Uh, first, uh, in our experience, to uh, deploy an open stack environment, the biggest um, and uh, possibly the most challengeable uh, issue is to the is the networking. Uh, he, here is a, a comparison table of uh, our network and the quantum before. Uh, in sex, we have only one choice, that is no network. But uh, in now, first, we have another uh, alternative is quantum. So, which is better for you and uh, which is better for public cloud? In the coverage table, we can see that uh, quantum uh, so, uh, support turning and uh, SDN, uh, but unfortunately, it doesn't support multi host and a secret group until now. Uh, maybe uh, we will support it uh, after next month, uh, next six months. But 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 for now, it will be uh, some issues to uh, it may be some performance issues and security issues in uh, operating a public cloud. So here is our comments of regarding the choice. No 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 network is uh, simple, robust, and reliable. Uh, service, uh, even though the next of some advanced features, which is these features may be uh, not very applicable uh, by most of the uh, adopters. Quantum is uh, not ready for production use from our experience and from our viewpoint, but uh, it's always plugin has a very great potential to be the open, open source OVP solution. So my suggestion is to continue use of Nova Network in production environment until the next release, while uh, pay a close attention to quantum, especially for its OS uh, plugin, because uh, until now, uh, quantum have OS, uh, OS and uh, our EU plugin is open source, and the other solution is uh, all the commercial backend, such as uh, Nasira backend and uh, Cisco UCS. And um, so we talk more about uh, no network since is um, our uh, is is running very well in our production environment. So I will talk more about it. Uh, no network has three different network topologies. Uh, first is flat. 
For nanomode, it's not very practical for uh, practical deployment since uh, they need some external GHP server and uh, uh, needs uh, some uh, human intervention. It, it will be not very flexible. While uh, for that DSCP, uh, in my viewpoint, uh, I think it is the most like EC2, amazing EC2 networking. Even though I, I, don't, I, I don't know about the underlying infrastructure, underlying architecture of uh, amazing EC2, but uh, uh, from a user, uh, uh, from a user point, we can see that the Fnatic SCP and the uh, Amazing Soon Networking share a, a lot of common features. So, and um, quantum in this nev uh, never is more like uh, Amazing VPC, and uh, EC2, uh, Fnatic SCP is, uh, is uh, basically uh, working like this. The virtual machine launched and it get an IP port from the from one single network first, which uh, is very simple and easy to hack. Uh, now, Fnatic GSCP is widely used in public cloud and also a uh, preferred topology in many scenarios, both for private and the, and the pub public cloud. WinLab Manager is a new complex uh, from our pro uh, viewpoint. Uh, it needs some hardware config configuration, and I, 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 I'm not very suggest to use Renan Manager, except you have very strong uh, isolation, uh, tenant isolation. Uh, here is some, uh, here is a real uh, network topology in our production environmental. Uh, I, need, I, I need a different uh, from the official recommendation uh, because we have done uh, some uh, customization. First, uh, uh, this this, uh, this topology works very well in our production environment, but it has some drawbacks. Uh, the most drawback is that uh, all the virtual machine is uh, in the same L2 uh, layer, so uh, it will be uh, very hard for, uh, for 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 enlarge the the scale of uh, of the virtual machines. So it may be a potential issue in this network, but uh, in our production uh, environment, it support uh, hundreds of physics servers. It, it will be very okay in our production environment. And, um, I, I should, for this uh, uh, diagram, I should write a very uh, long article to articulate uh, our uh, consideration and uh, our trade-off to build such a uh, to, to design such a topology, but I, I first uh, I, I talked about some basics. Um, from the pictures, we can see that it uh, has three different network. While red lines represent the virtual machine network, and the flag represents the management network, and the green management the public network. Uh, you you may notice that uh, virtual machine switch and uh, management switch has the same uplink to internal core router, uh, there, may be some de there may be dangerous for us because uh, in office environment, we have a lot of uh, external users which is not be trusted. So uh, how to handle this security? So we develop another, uh, we have done some security enhancement. We develop a SMS filter. SMS filter is an extension to secure group in our network. It, it used to filter the egress traffic from virtual machine to our internal network, while a uh, second group is used to filter the traffic from outside to, uh, to, to the virtual machine. Uh, the SMS filter and the uh, second group, they have um, a reverse direction filter. So uh, SMS filter is, is to define uh, the rules, uh, whose traffic should be able to reach uh, re which internal network IPs and uh, segments. So for the story, for the story solution, uh, story solution may be the next biggest challenge to operating a public cloud. Uh, normally we have two types of uh, storage. One is uh, object storage, like amazing S3. And now thanks to Swift, uh, we can very easily build a uh, uh, object storage 
system using Swift. But for block storage, uh, and can now um, think that is uh, in our pro uh, viewpoint, I think it's not the equivalent of uh, amazing AWS, even though many uh, developers and many guys uh, think it is uh, amazing, uh, is open source uh, amazing EBS, but I don't think so. It's just a framework to include multiple open source and um, commercial open source uh, solution. Well, no one warned you, and uh, I discuss uh, Cinder is, uh, is, or, or is also not applicable to the public cloud uh, because its uh, storage IO traffic is totally based on network, but uh, the, the design, the, their architecture is not distributed and redundant, so they maybe have some single point failure in, in, in our production environment, it, it cannot be a, a, a tolerant in our, uh, f for us. So we, not use, we don't use no volume and ask us uh, Cinder. But for Shipdog, uh, class and the serve plugins, uh, uh, I think it needs some time to be very mature, maybe one to three years ago, it will be, uh, then you can consider this uh, plugin. But, uh, but now, uh, I just suggest you to keep close attention to this plugin. Uh, so we developed our own solution, that is the island. Uh, this is a new plugin or a new uh, Cinder uh, storage uh, implementation. Uh, it has uh, such features which uh, is high performance local storage and uh, it also supports incremental and uh, independent uh, snapshot which is this snapshot it has been uh, pushed to suite for persistent. I, ha I have proposed a topic for design summit tomorrow and uh, I will discuss more about the implementation and the architecture of this um, plugin. For Identify integration, uh, Keystone, for, for, for Keystone. Uh, as you know, AWS provides a uniform dashboard to enable users to connect all regions around the world. This ability depends on powerful identify and uh, access management system. Uh, in OpenStack, Keystone has the same ability, I think. Uh, it can provide the same uh, function for us. Here is an example, uh, a typical example of how we use Keystone to support multi regions, just like AWS. Uh, for Beijing, uh, I have a region, uh, Shanghai, we have a region. Uh, each region have a, its own Keystone instance, where the Keystone instance share the same database. The, the, uh, the same database may be connected to the, uh, the same uh, IP or port, or the, the two databases are replicated, both are okay. Uh, for monitoring, there are so many monitoring tools in the market, like Ganglia, Nagios, and so on. All could be used here, but most of them require to deploy into virtual machines. That is not a, a tolerant in our, for us, because uh, many users may not trust, uh, trust the uh, internal uh, process. Uh, so we imp implement a simple uh, framework to, uh, for monitoring. Uh, just uh, can, uh, just uh, some, uh, some agents in the uh, different uh, hypervisors in, in the, the over computer host and connecting uh, the CPU memory and the disk and the network traffic for each, uh, for each instance and then aggregate this state to the uh, non SQL storage and the uh, billion service and the dashboard um, access this access and uh, aggregate this data through uh, API. And we also open source the, the implementation in GitHub, uh, where another incubated uh, 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 OpenStack project named Simulator uh, also addressed this problem. Uh, the reason we didn't use it because. <laughs> Uh, we implement uh, monitoring our own monitoring system before ASICS, where it, it, it's, it's not a proposed and, and it's not an incubated project now. So, uh, but now I would like to suggest you to um, 
consider Zenometer because it's more universe, and um, our, our implementation may have some uh, specific consideration for our own environment. Here is the dashboard of uh, monitoring. And um, for billion, billion system is, um, billion is about uh, how to make money. So it's uh, definitely a very important component for almost like a public cloud. Uh, and um, almost the signal meter also addresses the billion problem. So. And, um, but uh, in, our in our implementation, we separated to different projects. Uh, the features including uh, keep track of billing to uh, uh, keep, keep track of uh, billing information to charge tenants, uh, and it is very flexible customization of payment policies. Uh, it addresses uh, the how much and how often to charge for resource unit. It handles some um, uh, billing methods such as prepaid or pay as you go. It also has a coupon, uh, co coupon support. You can also check out the source code and uh, documentation in the GitHub. Uh, we charge for instance, bandwidth, and the public IP, and uh, node balance. Um, first, let's talk about uh, the dashboard. Uh, First, I must admit that we finally abandoned the official dashboard project, namely uh, Horizon. The reason is uh, is very easy. Uh, Horizon UI is not very easy to customization. Uh, it's not very easy to customize. So um, you can see uh, in, in the cloud in the cloud market, there are a lot of uh, open stack based based cloud. They are all using the same identical uh, dashboard. So. We, 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 don't, we don't like it, we don't like the uh, official UI, so we, we need to customization. Uh, another technical reason is that their front end and the back end implementation are tightly coupled, which uh, is not very convenient for us to, to, to do second development. And uh, what we need to do is uh, to customize, that, uh, cu customize and, uh, and another reason is that it's very hard for, to keep up the space of horizon. Uh, all, all, all can see the horizon cannot catch us, uh, catch up our own requirement. So what do we do? Uh, we decouple the front end design, the back end uh, implementation to make dashboard a lightweight front end. Uh, the, the second thing, we separate the user console and the admin console. We have paid a lot of mention uh, attention to uh, admin console uh, because for for us uh, admin console is very uh, critical for operate the whole uh, cluster the whole obstacle environment. Uh, so this is a uh, official dashboard. I can show uh, our own Im implementation. So from the beginning we have uh, uh, the the first version uh, we we totally changed the UI, but Based uh, also based on Horizon, and, uh, and then the second version. The second version is um, uh, a little like the AWS, but um, uh, until, uh, until then it is also based on Horizon. But uh, our latest uh, uh, dashboard is um, totally abandoned uh, of uh, Horizon, the developed by ourselves. So. I will talk about, about this, uh, some new features of, uh, in, in our dashboard. Uh, you can see the different square. Uh, each, each, each square means uh, which machine, and um, uh, non-green color means uh, there may be some performance issue or some risk in, in, in this. So when you can click in, you can, uh, you can see uh, what, what happened, what, what's the problem, what, what's the issue within the which machine. And this is the default, this is overview user der, of user dashboard. And then for monitoring, uh, very like the AWS monitoring page. Uh, for then for, okay, this is the admin console. For admin console, uh, there, I, I, in the left side, we have uh, another small square. Each, each small square represents an, uh, a physical server. Uh, and the number within the square, it, it means uh, 
uh, the number of virtual machines in this host. Then when you connect in, you can see, uh, you, you can see the detail, uh, uh, detail status of uh, the host. Uh, this is another view of uh, admin dashboard. So let's uh, come to another, the, the second topic, uh, how to operate a production uh, OpenStack environment. First, we were, face, uh, were facing to uh, select, uh, different, uh, select a different layer, uh, select a physical server, which, which server we use, and select the uh, OS distribution, and select the, uh, the hypervisor, and select the, 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 the storage. So for, for the physical server, we use, uh, uh, because OpenStack is um, very independent uh, for physical server, so, um, it it can it can keep it, we can keep noise obstacle in our so we can keep no obstacle in our existing uh, physical servers. So uh, what we have is uh, uh, two two year uh, x eighty six rec server, and uh, we use Ubuntu because Ubuntu is the in, in the beginning obstacle is um, development based on Ubuntu. So we uh, and. Uh, and the more important is some scripts, and uh, Torset uh, has only uh, work, it, it only work in Ubuntu. So, and another reason is that all our staff is uh, using Ubuntu desktop. We are very familiar with the package system, with the software management. And for the hypervisor, we use QM. So, in general, we can hardly uh, see that dispute about the selection of KVM or Zen, uh, because uh, until now, I think the KVM, KVM already run, but uh, also from our own uh, viewpoint, I think uh, KVM has run the, the, the battle of <laughs> the, the, the hypervisor selection. And um, until now, we, we can hardly uh, uh, heard that some new project selected then. The most of them are selected QM. The reason is very uh, easy. That is, uh, QM is uh, more easy uh, to manage. Is is uh, uh, we we do not uh, need to invest much the human resource on the hypervisor layer. We just focus on our uh, obstacle service development and focus on our uh, deployment, our automation. We 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 no no uh, we no longer care about the hypervisor because. QM handled, handled all the things for us. For the underlying storage, uh, for some physical servers, we use SAS uh, disk uh, with uh, RAID 1.0 or RAID 5 support. And all have, uh, or for some other type, we using uh, SSD backend, uh, which some, uh, because our, uh, some of customers need, need very high performance IO, uh, high, Performance IO, high, high, high IO performance, sorry. Uh, for example, for the uh, uh, MySQL uh, database and, uh, and the other application. So challenges in deep knowing cloud. Uh, oh, uh, cloud. I think in sense is a big data center, especially for public cloud. So the requirement is to provision large scale physical infrastructure in very few minutes, and um, as well as uh, the software deployment. And the most importantly, we need the tools to orchestrate all the heterogeneous components, including the field servers, network devices, and uh, some other components. Which means, uh, which is a very big challenge is for for us. And uh, sorry, here is uh, uh, some automation tools we use our uh, uh, production environment. The next side is uh, development tools. We use a uh, uh, Git and a guitar, uh, Gary. Uh, we use Git and a guitarist for the code hosting and for the version management. 
and we also use a, a DB repo uh, to build uh, the um, package for testing and for production environment. And uh, for the operation tools, um, we, we use the most, Im most two important, uh, I think uh, the, 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 the most important tool is uh, Foreman. Foreman is uh, used to keep, no uh, keep noisy OS from uh, on the bare metal uh, automatically, and uh, Puppet is, um, is, used, is used to deploy a service or to do uh, system configuration upon the operating system. So uh, when the object class is ready, we uh, need, need some other tools. We use uh, Zabbix to monitoring the physical servers. Uh, we, we, uh, as I just said, that we also have our own implementation, our own dashboard to f uh, monitoring servers. And, uh, we, we, as, and uh, at the same time, we use some open source tools. Uh, here is our CI system. Uh, we use uh, we use Garrett to do uh, code review, and uh, the, uh, the the Jenkins was uh, uh, triggered by another events to do such as uh, packaging or to uh, told the users uh, your your commit is fail or your commit is success, and um, I think th th this core uh, CI system is totally. Uh, from the communication, it, it, it's from the community. Why we use these tools? Because the community uses it. So we use it in our, for our team collaboration. It, it's, it, the, the whole system is very, uh, it's, it works very well in our employment. Uh, for project management, we use uh, uh, open source version launchpad. Uh, we keep the notepad in in-house in and uh, uh, put all our internal project to our in, our in-house notepad. So the second uh, the section I will talk about the second app uh, is the community public cloud for us. So uh, one. Uh, one sentence to describe SignNav is uh, uh, a community-free OpenStack public cloud, uh, more than just uh, OpenStack sandbox. Uh, you mean, uh, I mean that before uh, SignNav, there is a, a tri-stack project, which, which is um, uh, just uh, OpenStack sandbox and uh, maintained that by the uh, community. But uh, for SignNav, it may have some different mission. So I will talk more about it. Uh, the another reason why we launched the SnackNav is that uh, TriStack is not accessible from China because it, it is using the uh, is using the Facebook launching system, which is uh, totally blocked by the government due, government due to some uh, I don't know, I don't know the the underlying reason. So. Uh, okay. And uh, why SignNav? Uh, not everyone has the opportunity to run an OpenStack public cloud when no resources, uh, no users, no market, but SignNav uh, will change this. What does it mean? Uh, for, all, uh, for many of us, uh, we, most, of, most of the developers uh, 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 do development in-house, or, or build a try system, or just build a, a dev stack instance in, in the laptop, or the, in one single uh, physical service. But uh, most importantly, the developers uh, can, cannot uh, know the real, uh, the real experience of, uh, the, the real experience of users. And, uh, uh, and the, the developers also didn't have the Chinese, uh, given us an opportunity to operate the uh, uh, online uh, offsite environment, since it, it often means um, uh, a lot of uh, investment. And uh, even you have, even you have uh, physical servers or you have resources, you, you, can, you can't get a lot of users to try your 
product, uh, platform. So, uh, uh, Snap, Snap level has uh, three goals uh, for different users, uh, for different layers. For OpenStack users uh, who experience SnapNav, they understand uh, what, uh, what exactly OpenStack is and uh, what does it provide. And uh, you, for users, it, rec it can also develop applications on SnapNav or using SnapNav API, um, which can build the face on OpenStack and the possi uh, possibility this, this user can be the uh, native adopters, uh, adopters of OpenStack uh, or, or uh, OpenStack supporter. And uh, for OpenStack, uh, Computers or developers involved in StackNav, they can test in uh, patches on real production like environmental and get feedback from the users that fascinate the development and the QA process. And also gain the experience from operating a StackNav without the risk of uh, SRA because it is, it is free. And um, the developers also can have better understanding the requirement of uh, OpenStack users or their potential customers. And, uh, for stack uh, level sponsors, uh, they can build brand uh, acknowledgement in uh, OpenStack community and they also can own one stack level region in their own data centers. And they, and they can also have uh, free access to our uh, technical support and uh, consultant or stack level from, from stack level DevOps team. Uh, I want to emphasize one point that is uh, for, for uh, stack sponsors who uh, sponsor physical servers, they can uh, deploy the one second app node in their own data center, which, mean, it, which means that you own all the resources and uh, you can get the users from outside. And uh, uh, you also have support from, you, you also have the free support for the DevOps team and uh, from the community. So how to join StackNav? For Stack users, it's very easy. It's, uh, it's very easy. Just uh, go to StackNav. It's already online. You can access it and uh, register the account. And uh, without uh, improvement by the mean, and for obviously contributors to join StackNav, uh, they can uh, First, you must persuade uh, their company to become a StackNav sponsor. Thus, you will have a StackNav region in your own data center, and uh, you are the administrator of the StackNav. For OpenStack sponsors, uh, just uh, sign agreement with the StackNav OpenStack team, and the StackNav OpenStack team help you to build a StackNav environment, uh, and then your region is listed in the StackNav portal. So you are get a lot of users from the, uh, uh, from the company. Uh, 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 there are some ways, uh, other ways to join StackNav. And uh, this is the dashboard uh, of uh, StackNav. You, you can choose different regions through, uh, before you launch the uh, StackNav or after you launch the StackNav. So I have a summary. Uh, first, uh, OpenStack is uh, definitely the best uh, open source cloud platform for building public cloud. Uh, I got this solution not because I have tried and compared uh, OpenStack from different, uh, from other open source cloud platforms, just because our sincere trust for OpenStack. This trust is, is, is comes from, in particular, uh, uh, the for open, open, open source open community and uh, open development and uh, open design. And uh, now OpenStack growing, uh, fast growing ecosystem and, uh, uh, around the OpenStack and in, in is uh, no window knocking features. Also give us, um, also provide us great opportunities, not, in, not only in business, but also in career. And uh, another uh, aspect is that uh, OpenStack's uh, public cloud needs much more customization and uh, development to differentiate you to from different other uh, OpenStack public cloud. And uh, also requires strong technical skills and environment in the community. Okay, thank you. Wow. And um, I'll check the time. Maybe the, the, the time is out. So 
uh, if you have any question, you can ask me later. <laughs>